Andrew, tell us about Roundel, uh, what you're working with, uh, how you're working with them, and uh, the, the value that association brings and how it's being used by publishers. We're super excited to be working with Roundel. Uh, we see the programmatic market evolving dramatically. Uh, traditionally, addressability and attribution was entirely based on the cookie, um, but the cookie is kind of going away. And in the new world, first party data re reigns supreme. And Roundel has incredible rich data uh, from their guests. Uh, which is enabling a, a new paradigm in addressability that starts with the consumer and starts with those that have a relationship with that consumer. And so what we're doing with Roundel is allowing uh, media transactions on the exchange from big media companies that we work with uh, to have marketers use the Roundel data set um, to bring addressability through first party data to programmatic like never before. So what does that mean for a publisher? So what that means for a publisher is Audiences that um, can be created based on guests in target stores uh, who have um, certain shopping um, behaviors can be used to attract marketers to their media. So imagine um, guests that like certain product categories that are hard to target perhaps by CPGs traditionally that don't have huge first party data sets of their own. Those budgets will now be accessible to media companies uh, through this integration uh, and through this opportunity. So Andrew, more broadly, um, the post-cookie world, there's a lot going on, uh, the game is changing. Uh, how is Index Exchange um, uh, kind of adopting and how is the industry moreover need to adopt in this new world uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, the need for identity outside the cookie? Uh, we built a lot on top of the cookie, and the cookie had a good run, um, but it's on its way out. Uh, it's on its way out for a lot of reasons. Um, you know, there's a huge platform war at play. Uh, the consumer is rising in every way, um, and control is of the utmost importance. Um, the cookie was traditionally used to gather passive data based on the singular cookie identifier. That doesn't roll anymore. The consumer wants more control. They don't want something passively happening in the background. Um, how we're preparing is recognizing that um, authentication is going to be the new way addressability works tomorrow. And to think about that for a second, think about the walled gardens. They don't need cookies to be incredibly successful today. And that's largely because consumers log into them. So you log into Facebook, you log into Netflix, you log into Amazon, you log into Gmail. You generally, as a consumer, log in and authenticate into these massive platforms, which gives them a huge identity advantage. When we think of content, traditionally, you get content for free. There's ads alongside it, but you don't do much. There's not much friction. We do think going forward that model will start to change, and some form of authentication will come to bear to enable the value exchange between free content and some form of identity. Um, Otherwise, we are concerned that our ability to drive marketing outcomes will be compromised, uh, which will certainly have implications on our ability to drive uh, revenue and sustainable economics for media companies.